Welcome to InfoT. Today we will talk about sustainability and occupational therapy. It is a given that climate change threatens ecosystems and negatively affects people and their health. A universal effort is being made to limit climate change, which is also considered to be an effort to improve human health and well-being. The effort made to reduce climate change and increase Earth's viability is called sustainability. In general, sustainability is the use of the environment and available resources to meet the needs of the present without preventing future generations from meeting their own needs. Sustainable development is the approach that uses materials and resources in such a way that they continue to exist for future generations. It leads to the achievement of basic human development goals while maintaining the sustainability of the natural resources and ecosystems on which the economy and society rest. Occupational therapy, since it has a long and extensive knowledge about the effect that the environment has on the occupational performance, but also in general health professionals, should act as role models for climate change and health. Climate change seems to directly affect occupational performance and is inextricably linked to occupational therapy. More specifically, a direct effect of climate change can be an increase in the occurrence of extreme weather events, e.g. heat waves, floods or droughts, and an increase in communicable diseases, e.g. from mosquitoes. Those, in turn, lead directly to more hardship, more injuries and potentially disabilities. Secondary consequences can be lack of access to drinking water or suitable food, reduced employment or work, e.g. in a drought, the farmer is forced to stop working, climate-related migration which in turn affect overall health and work engagement. The impact on the environment on work performance, health and well-being are clear and make occupational therapy key to sustainability. Occupations seem to be the connecting link between the ecosystem and well-being. Sustainable occupations include ecological practices that minimize the use of materials, promote recycling or reuse of materials. So, what can we do to promote sustainability and sustainable occupations? Some researchers suggest promoting the production, purchase and selection of environmentally friendly goods and projects. Promoting occupations that reuse or recycle and respect other forms of life. Promoting local businesses that protect health and the environment. And using group occupations which allow people to work together and create stable communities and activities that promote health. According to the World Federation of Occupational Therapists, there are also five main principles that occupational therapists need to follow. First is to really understand sustainability from the occupation's perspective. Every occupational therapist should study and understand current ecosystem sustainability issues and how they affect meaningful occupations for individuals. Secondly, the role of occupational therapy in mitigating the environmental crisis. Therapists should work with clients and the community to explore new ways of engaging in healthy and meaningful projects without exacerbating the environmental crisis. Next, we can help clients adapt to the consequences of the environmental crisis, using interventions based on occupations and how they are affected by climate change, encouraging clients to organize and advocate for themselves so that they have access to materials that they need. Acknowledging sustainability in the community, guided by justice in work and equity in work, occupational therapists should support communities to find ways to produce and participate in occupations in a meaningful and sustainable way. Lastly, by developing a professional competence to deliver occupation-based interventions, developing the theoretical frameworks and knowledge for the interaction of health, occupations, climate change and sustainability. Promoting the development of appropriate tools which identify how sustainability is affected in each occupation and what effect each occupation has on the ecosystem. Let's review some more ways to promote sustainability in our practice. According to other researchers, 
Occupational therapists can promote specific changes in transportation, such as cycling, carpooling, or walking, so as to reduce the carbon footprint and find more ways for people with disabilities to get around, but with a smaller footprint. We can also support sustainable development through personalized interventions, aids, adaptations, personal strategies. For example, promoting the use of aids for less water consumption, guidelines for ecological shopping and cooking. Also, promotion of personal gardens for individuals to produce their own food. Promoting participation in ecological occupations, collaborating with other scientists or experts, Exploring occupations with an emphasis on culture, mobilizing and raising awareness of the negative impacts of climate change on occupations and their performance are just a few more strategies to promote the sustainability of occupations. Furthermore, even the way of working, whenever this is possible, will have to be redefined, for example via tele-intervention, teleconferencing, etc. Now we got the tools. Let's all work together and make our planet sustainable for our generation and the ones to come. All information in this video was found here. Thank you for watching InfoT. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more!